What's going on Average Tech Guy here and today we are back with more tech and more reviews and this time we're going to be talking about one of my favorite new applications and it's right over here on this page. It's called Hover Time and that's what we're here to talk about today. So as mentioned, this is probably one of my favorite new applications because I do a lot of lectures, I do a lot of classes, and I use my iPad on a regular basis. And a lot of times I find myself trying to set a timer on my watch over here and look down at my watch and keep up with what's going on. Or I'm either looking at a clock like that's on the wall way over there, trying to figure out how much time do I have to get this actual presentation done. Well, not anymore. What I'm actually using is this app right here called Hover time. Now, hover time is going to run you about two bucks, but I think it's well worth it when you see what it's going to do. Now, hover time actually has a stopwatch and it has a timer built into it. And you can actually auto start it as soon as you put it on the screen, or you can hold off and start it up yourself. Now, the good thing about this is I like to turn that auto start off because when I get ready to start my presentation, that's when I like to start it and that's when I like to go. So basically it's a very simple application. You open it up and you hit start and it's going to put that clock somewhere on your screen and you can move it to any corner that you would like up here at the top. You want to put it right here. You want to put it back over here. You're good to go. Now this will not go in the middle of your screen. It will not go halfway there. It has to be in a corner. Just keep that in mind. And once you actually get this on your screen, it is there. So let's say we actually go onto YouTube. When it opens up, boom, there you go. It's still on the screen, come out of there. Let's say we go to Safari, still on there. So no matter what application you go into, it is gonna stay on that screen. Another cool thing about this is you can actually change the size on it. So maximum size, throw it up on your screen, you know exactly what's going on. Now, the only thing that this may give you an issue with maximum size is if you have a presentation on here and you're trying to follow along and you're scrolling, 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 you're going to have to scroll up pretty high because you need more space. So it's probably best to keep it as small as possible in the corner. You can have your document and you're good to go. Matter of fact, let's actually look at a full document while we have this on the screen. So as a lot of you may know, I am a respiratory therapist and I do talk to nurses as well as other therapists and do education from time to time. And let's say I do need this on my screen and I'm going through different type of checkoffs. I just scroll down, scroll down, and it's over here in the, in the corner, not bothering me at all. And I'm able to just scroll, scroll, scroll. And then once I get to my last point, I'm good to go. So basically I'm going to be able to go through this full checkoff list uh, with my families, with my nurses, with my other respiratory colleagues, and then I'm able to keep my time right there. I'm able to do my lecture, watch my time. It's right here on the screen. I have no issues with this application. This is probably by far one of my favorite applications on my device right now. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Like I said, this app is gonna cost you about $1.99. I think it's well worth it, especially if you do a lot of presentations, lectures, things of that nature. You'll be able to keep up with that time right here on your screen rather than glancing at a watch, stopwatch to the side, or looking at a clock in the way in the back of the room. Until next time, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.